What's going on guys? Jurassic Guess here. Today we're learning how to set up Twitch integration for 7 Days to Die. This is going to work if you're a solo streamer or if you're going to be streaming with other people. So let's go and get on into it. I will link this article in the description down below if you guys are curious and want to read it yourself. Some of the features that you can do is in this game menu, you just sit there and enable it. We will go over how to do that all in a second. So there is SP and PP. I recommend just swapping to PP because it works a little bit better. SP is basically just going to be special pimp points versus regular pimp points. If you're not an affiliate, you're not really going to get special pimp points. And at the current time, there's not really a use for the special pimp points that we've seen yet. Unless you're using mods on 7 Days to Die, there is a couple of things where people are able to spawn like boss zombies in if you are using the special points. Now then. This next part is going to be very important, so I am going to read this area out here where we're highlighting. Everybody can opt out of Twitch action or Twitch visuals in order to log in on Twitch integration. You must hold a permission level on the host. Default is 90 and be registered with oh, Twitch.tv. Basically, that is saying that anyone who wants to also have Twitch integration on your server has to be considered an admin. We are going to go over how to do that, but that is why... If you're getting a permission denied on your friend server who's also a streamer, you have to actually be an admin on that server for it to work. This is all just, you know, basically just like walking you through it. You, basically, all you have to do is log into Twitch, sign in, and then boom, you're good. Basically, they're just saying it's been tuned for one player. I found it actually works pretty good with multiple people. We didn't run into any issues. It depends how nice your chat is. Sometimes they can really help you. Sometimes they really hurt you. There's going to be some pro user progression, which basically you can if you're on like the earlier stages, people aren't able to spawn in like the radiant zombies and stuff. So that's good to know. Things will be showing up on the right side of your screen, so it'll just slowly start going through all the different commands people can do. You can do some cool stuff like you can actually give your chat points. You can sit there and swap it so it's triple the points and everything. A lot of this stuff is just basic, so blue is basically going to be helpful, red is going to be hurt, so people can spawn bears, or they can also spawn supply armor for you. And basically you'll have like a little action point, leaderboard, safe zone, if you have a land claim block, it's basically going to make it so people can't spawn any negative things in that area. So if you're trying to figure that out, you might want to have a land claim block while you're building your base. Another thing that you can do is you can turn off so people can't spawn stuff in during a blood moon. So all that stuff is super useful. We're just going to, you know, mostly like glance over this. Then I will show you guys how to make someone an admin on your Twitch server. So if you go into the player icon, that little lightning bolt there shows that Twitch is enabled. If you guys are curious, so that's another useful tip. Oh, and if you don't have crate stealing enabled, it's only going to be highlighted for the person who actually gets the crate summon upon them. It's like, for example, if two people are in the game together, the host is automatically going to be the default. The next person in the list is going to be one. So, for example, if you want to do spawn underscore armor space one, it's going to go for the second player in the group instead of the host. That's pretty useful. That way you can you know, give people armor or you can sit there and just have it so crate stealing is turned on and then anyone can open it. But it would only be purple for the person who actually has the crate. See how that one's white over there? This guy cannot even open or interact with that chest unless steel is enabled. So here's a list of like all the commands and stuff. Some of the stuff is more useful towards like later on stuff like the regen. Distor regen, I think you have to get to like day three before you can do it. Distort's going to be for vision, so you can actually disable like the vision stuff if you're not a fan of that. And you can even go into the cog menu inside the game itself and disable some things if you don't really want them in the game. One cool thing is you can do pound add pp space all space whatever number you want and everybody in your chat is going to get it. You can sit there and set the pot value, you can set the cooldowns, you can do a whole bunch of cool stuff. But we're going to go ahead and get back into seven days to die. Let's go and load into our game real quick and I will show you guys how to make someone an admin. All right, so now that we are in seven days to die, if you're on a United States keyboard, you click F1. If you're in the United Kingdom, I believe it's going to be the quote system, but whichever button actually opens up your command prompt, just go and click that now. 
it's going to pop up this list here. So basically the quickest and easiest way is going to be to type in list player IDs. Now you're not going to have to search too hard for it because basically to add someone as an admin, you're going to need to have admin space add. You want their name or the ID that we just got. You want to do the permission level. Permission level is going to be zero. And then if you do the player ID, you just want to type in their name. For example, we are Jurassic Acid. So, for example, our player ID is 171. So all we have to do over here is boom, 171, click enter, and then it's going to get, make us an admin. Zero is going to be an admin. Anything higher than a zero is going to be like a lower level player. Anyone who is not an admin cannot do Twitch integration, just so you guys are aware that you have to have this enabled. This is the only way it's going to work. If you want someone to be removed, all you have to do is swap this ad with a remove. Same exact ID with the permission level. Just keep everything the exact same. It's the exact same command. And that's going to be it. And then two people can actually both have the Twitch integration. For us, it worked really well. We didn't have any issues with it not working. Like I said, you might want to do a lane claim block if you want to try to prevent yourself from getting like too crazy. But that's going to be it for today, guys. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.